Good morning, everyone. My name is Evan, and welcome to Country View Acres. So recently, my wife Rebecca and I, we have been working on this back room here in our pole barn. We just built this pole barn this spring, and part of this back room is going to be um, a dog kennel. It's going to be the inside portion of our dog kennel. It's got a couple doggy doors on there, so we're going to have a dog run that's going to come out here, and it's going to be under roof. It's going to be under a porch, and then we got a doggy door that leads out the back, and we're going to have a dog run, uh, an open dog run that's out the backside. And uh, this room is also going to be a storage room, so we're going to plan on putting some shelves on this side so we can store some stuff. And then there will be a, like a dog cage that will divide the two halves of the room. So anyway, we are just getting started on this, so let's go ahead and see what we've got done. So when the walls were spray foamed, we went ahead and framed out where the doggy doors were going to go um, to lead to the outside runs. Now the next thing to do after that is we, we uh, started putting our nailers on the wall so that we had somewhere to attach our wall sheeting to because there's no studs in the wall like you'd have in a normal framed house. So what we did is we ended up putting these every two feet. That's the same spacing that they used on the outside of the pole barn. So most of the time when people put nailers up like this inside a pole barn, uh, they'll use like a 16 foot board and they'll actually span a, a couple posts and they'll just nail them right to the front. It goes a lot quicker. You can put them on pretty fast. And what we ended up doing is we actually ended up cutting them to length and putting them between the posts. And the reason we ended up doing that is because the doggy doors are actually, they're only made to fit a six inch wall. So if we would have put the nailers on the front, the wall would have been too thick for them. So we're trying to keep the wall as narrow as possible and putting these each in between posts was very time consuming. So for our bottom nailer, we ended up using a treated two by four and we just uh, used concrete screws to screw that to the floor and hold it in place. Now some of the spray foam was so thick that a two by four wouldn't fit in there. So we had to cut the side of it off to make it a little bit more narrow. So that's more like a two by three screwed to the floor, but that's our bottom nailer. So the next thing we ended up doing is we ended up putting our nailers on the ceiling and we spaced those every two feet as well, like we did on the sides. And then we went ahead and wired the room up and then we started putting our metal on the ceiling. So this is white pole barn metal. It's basically the same metal that's on the outside of the barn up here on the ceiling. Now I will say this was probably the hardest part of this so far was trying to put that on the ceiling from ladders. Probably not the easiest thing to do. Uh, probably a scissor lift or a rolling scaffold would probably be a lot easier. As you can see, we still have one section here that needs framed out and that's actually where the doorways going to lead into that room. So we got to frame out a door there. We left that open because that was just a lot easier to carry the metal in there for the ceiling with that left open. So that's what we're going to start on now. It's got this last wall framed out. It's going to be framed a little bit differently since it has a doorway.
So we've got our door frame all framed out now. We've got our nailers on for the inside of the kennel. So I think we're ready to start putting up some of all, all the uh, wall coverings. So what we're gonna do at the bottom is we're gonna put this galvanized uh, roofing. We're gonna put that at the bottom. Um, we're, gonna go, we're gonna go four feet up with it. And we figure that's about as high up as the dogs will reach. And this should be dog proof so that they don't tear up the walls or anything. So at the top of this, we're gonna have to put some galvanized J channel and we're gonna put that around the room first and then we'll start putting these uh, roofing sheets on. You probably can't see it, but we've put a blue chalk line that goes all the way around the room so that we can put this on straight. So when we put this in, we're going to put it in so this is straight up and down because the uh, floor isn't exactly perfect to use that as a reference. Let's go ahead, we'll take a quick look here, see what we've got done so far. As you can see, we've got most of the metal along the bottom of the wall. So we just don't have this small section right here around where our door opening is. And the reason why I didn't do that is I really, I really wanna have the door in the frame and that way I can kind of see how it's gonna be trimmed out 
and I want this metal to basically come up and go right up against the trim of the door. So I've kind of held off in this area until I get the door on there. But, uh, you know, overall, I think it's looking pretty good so far. You can see we've got the doggy doors cut out. Now we've just done like a rough cut opening. Um, and the reason we did that is that doggy door has like a flange that goes around it and it'll cover up all that metal, all that jagged metal will get covered up so you don't see it. And um, yeah, the corners, um, the corners, we didn't do anything special on the corners. We just pushed our corrugated metal all the way into the side. And then the next piece, when it came in, we, we pushed it all the way against it. And I thought it turned out pretty good for button against each other. Um, the way that corrugation works, since it's all wavy, you end up uh, kind of overlapping just a little bit and it kind of hides the corner. You don't see any, any space where you can see through that or nothing. So I thought the corners tur turned out pretty good. Now when you're bringing a wall up like this four feet tall, um, that's a little taller than a standard like wainscoting or whatever, right? So the window ended up being a little bit lower than that. So we had to trim around the window here. And what we've done is we've, we've just kind of spaced this out the same distance from the side and the same distance from the bottom. And the idea behind that is when we trim this window out, the window trim should go right up against this J channel and everything will look nice and neat when the window's finally trimmed out. So the electrical in here um, ended up, you know, everything in the garage should be on a GFCI. In here, we're definitely gonna have water. Um, so the first outlet's a GFCI. So all the other outlets in here are protected on a GFCI outlet. Now we'll have water in here so that we can water the dogs, but there's also a chance we could wash the dogs in here as well because we put a floor drain in here so that we can wash the dogs in here if we want to. So the way we're gonna lay this out is probably about six feet out from that wall. We're gonna fence off that side with some kennel panels. We'll have a gate here so we can get to the dogs or let the dogs into the garage. But that side is gonna be, that's gonna be the interior dog kennel on that side of the room. Now the other side of the room, this is gonna be the storage side of the room. So we're gonna have some shelves. They're gonna start about here and the shelving is gonna go to the corner and then it's gonna come out this wall close to the window. So we're gonna have a couple six foot shelves in the corner over there. And since this is a storage room, that's why we've put on the big door here. This is a 36 inch wide door we're gonna have here. It's gonna make it a lot easier to move things in and out of here. And then I'm thinking in this corner over here, I'm gonna to try to leave that open so I can get to the GFCI if I need to. But I'm also thinking about storing ladders in this corner here. Um, so that if I need them in the workshop over here, the ladders are right inside this door. So the dog kennel is starting to take shape. Um, this has taken like five or six days to get where we are right now. So it's been slow going. Um, there's been a lot of rainy days the last few weeks and I've been using those rainy days to, to work on this. So um, I think in the next video, what we're gonna do is hopefully we'll finish the walls. Um, We'll get the door painted and on. Ended up buying a scratch and dent door from Menards. Um, so we gotta get it painted, but the door jam was completely broke in half. Uh, so we've gotta make a new door jam for it and get it hung up here. And uh, hopefully we'll get the bottom metal finished and then we'll get the, the wall on the top part finished in that video. And uh, maybe we'll even get some shelving in there and uh, but hopefully in the next video we'll get all the walls and it'll look pretty much done in there. Um, the video after that will probably end up being the kennel panels. Uh, kennel panels are very expensive so I found that it looks like it's going to be cheaper me, for me to build them myself. So I've bought some metal and we're basically just going to make our own kennel panels. We're going to weld those together so we'll have some kennel panels in here. Uh, for the inside kennel. We're also gonna build all of our own kennel panels for this outside porch for their covered run. And uh, hopefully we'll get all those built and installed in a, in a video. That'll probably be one video. But the tricky part of that is there's gonna be some doors for us to walk through and be able to weld the doors together and get it where those, those latch and hinge properly. Um, that may be like the tricky part, but uh, planning on trying to make our own dog kennels um, to make the project somewhat cheaper. And then after that, we're gonna make 
we're going to fence in part of the yard back here behind the barn, and that will be an uncovered run, a bigger run out into the grass where the dogs can go. And that should pretty much wrap up the whole dog kennel project. But anyway, um, like I said, this has been long in the making just to get this far. It's a very slow going project. But I think that's it for today's video. And uh, stick with us if you wanna see how this all finishes up. I think it's gonna look really nice on the inside. We're finishing it where it's, it is gonna be fairly nice room um, so that it can easily be turned take the dog kennel fence out of there and we could easily turn it into an office later if we wanted to. So uh, I think it's gonna turn out really nice when we're done. So that's it for today guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.